This is non-calculator question number nine. College Board tells us that there are two lines in the plane. One has slope two and contains the point one eight, and the other passes through one two and two one, and they want the coordinates of the point of intersection, or actually the sum of the coordinates, which turns out to be easier. So let's find the line through these two points. Y equals mx plus b, where m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's m equals 2 minus 1 over 1 minus 2 is negative 1. I'm sorry, 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. So y equals negative x plus b. And if I substitute in either point, let's try 1, 2. The y value is 2 when the x value is 1, so 2 equals negative 1 plus b, b equals 3. So my equation is y equals negative x plus 3. Now I can solve this as a system of equations with the other equation, but there's a shortcut. If I add x to both sides, I get x plus y equals 3. And since this point is on that line, the x-coordinate plus the y-coordinate must be equal to 3, so choice B is our answer. I don't think it's worth the time to look for this sort of trick when you're under time pressure, so I'm also going to solve as a regular system of equations. And my second equation is again y equals mx plus b, and we're told that m is 2, so y equals 2x plus b. Finding b with the point 1, 8, the y value is 8, and the x value is 1. So 8 equals 2 plus b, subtract 2 from both sides, and b equals 6. So I have my first equation, y equals negative 3, sorry, negative x plus 3. And my second equation, y equals 2x, that's y equals mx plus b I found was 6. Since they're intersecting, the two expressions are equal. Negative x plus 3 equals 2x plus 6. Add x to both sides, and I get 2x plus x is 3x. Subtract 6 from both sides, and I get 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Divide both sides by 3, and I'll get x by itself. x equals negative 1. If x is negative 1, y is negative x plus 3, so y equals 1 plus 3, y equals 4. And they're asking for, given the point negative 1, 4 equals a, b. They're asking for a plus b. a plus b equals negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. Same answer I got with the trick, but I prefer not to count on spotting tricks when you're under pressure. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.